have woken up to a very sad news of our colleague, a photojournalist, uh, Peter Oteng's uh, untimely demise. Uh, what, I'll work, uh, what I'll want to say is we are calling upon the security operators to take this matter very seriously and uh, unravel the misery behind his death. Uh, we're also calling upon people to stop speculations that will divert the investigations into the murder of our colleague. We are calling also on the security operators in Bungoma to beef up security even this, during this time of the curfew because this month alone they have reported over 10 deaths within the, almost the same vicinity where motorbike riders are murdered and other people have been murdered. We are calling upon the police to beef up the security. Our question is, if there is a curfew and people are not allowed to walk, who are these people moving around at night? We're also calling upon the police. Let, us, let it not be uh, uh, business as usual, whereby people are murdered, and nobody is brought to book, investigations are done just for the sake of public relations, and the, mat uh, the matter is dropped. We are really calling on the police that uh, they leave no stone unturned. Na siku ya leo, imekuwa ni siku ambayo kama wanahabari, tuna uzunika sana. Jana, muendo wa saa na nusu wapo, nilieza kupigiwa simu na mmoja wetu, akiweza kunieleza kwamba uh, communications officer wa mbunge wa Kandui uh, Storm alimaarufu Storm Diad lakini anaitwa Peter Uchieng amewezwa kuvamiwa na watu wasiojulikana na tukaweza kutoka pamoja na mwenzangu ambaye anafanya na station ya NTV hiyo masaa tukaenda mpaka kwa scene of crime just a few meters ukitoka kwa dual ukielekea sunrise Just around 100 meters is when uh, tukapata maafisa wa polisi pale pamoja na mbunge na wafanyikazi wengine wa afisi ya CDF ya Kandui na kweli tukadhibitisha kwamba uh, Storm alikuwa amekatwa katwa vibaya sana kwa mkono na kwa kichwa na alikuwa amevuja damu sana. Na ukiweza kuangalia pale kwa scene unaona kwamba Storm alivutwa kama mita tatu kutoka mahala ambapo alikuwa amekatwa katwa na ni jambo ambalo limeweza kutuuzunisha sana kama wanahabari. Storm tumefanya kazi pamoja naye eh upper field alikuwa anafanya pamoja na mwenzetu katika station ya KTN hapo awali amekuwa mpiga picha eh, katika ofisi ya mbunge wa Kimilili Didmus Barasa kabla hajaanza kufanya shughuli yake na mbunge wa Kandui. Sawa wa Kenya, majina yangu ni Oti Oteba, mimi ni Secretary General wa Bungoma Press Club. Sisi kama wanahabari tumegadhabishwa sana na kifo cha mwenzetu ambaye amekuwa afisa wa masiliano katika afisi ya mbunge wa Kandui wa Fula wa Mnyinyi. Kuwawa kwa bwana Storm anavyojulikana mahali hapa kinatutia sisi kiwewe kama wanahabari. Na kwa hivyo tungependa kwamba serikali iweze kuingilia kati, iweze kuinvestigate na kuona kwamba waliotenda kitendo hichi cha kumua wanahabari wenzetu wanatiwa mbaroni. Na ningependa pia kumsi ambaye inspector general wa police hira limkiambai aweze kuingilia kati manake utapata kwamba kuna visa vingi vimetokea vya mauaji hapa Bungoma utapata hasa katika hii estate ya sunrise peke yake ujambazi umezidi ili hali tuna police wale wanaoshikwa majambazi wanaoshikwa wao huenda wapi manake atajisikia kwamba umefikishwa prison ama umefanywa chochote ili hali tunaendelea kupoteza wa Kenya watukufu ambao wangejenga nchi hii na kuisaidia kwa hivyo sisi kama wanahabari kuna ile tension hapa Bungoma baina ya wanasiasa wengi. Na serikali yafaa ingilie kati itume maafisa wa kutosha ili waweze kutulinda sisi hata kama wanahabari. Kwa maana kuwa kwa mwenzetu ni inachangia kwamba hata sisi ambao ni viongozi wao pia tuko hatarini. Ni hayo tu.